startup mentality and uh, liquid organization and uh, innovation culture and so far. And now when we started with SMART, we have such a liquid organization where we are make use really of the whole creativity and all the ideas coming from the team. Some uh, people smiled a little bit when we talked about it. Um, today, everybody knows the creativity of the team is everything and I can tell you they, had, they incredibly enjoyed this idea of developing this new SMART convertible and always they did a lot of, yes, workshops for new innovations, how to even improve the life, the mobile life in a convertible in big cities, because SMART is always about urban environments and big cities. And the first question, of course, is always, we do want to improve that for our customers, but who are the SMART customers? That's a question you're asking me quite often in our interviews, what's your specific target group? And I always say, you know, the, the smart target group is, uh, first of all, they're all young. They're young if they are 18 or if they are 88. Young at heart, and you just can't say it's this typical target group because it's almost 50-50 men and women, male and female, uh, but they are always, and that's a red line, very optimistic. They, l they um, love the uh, joie de vivre. Um, they enjoy very much the big cities. They are optimistic. And for them, and we shared that here uh, in a small discussion, for them it's a way of life. Smart is more than just a car. It's really a statement. It's a way of life. And it's a statement, I don't like mainstream. And exactly this is always uh, when, um, and, and these customers are uh, did um, or, or uh, created last year already with the new car, that already the new car is now an icon in many, many streets in many big cities. Um, and so, the, if you want, the smart convertible always used to be the icon amongst the icons. Um, we, uh, it has a tremendous cult status. And so, um, if you see what we had with the predecessor, SMART, 15% take rate for a convertible. That's quite high. I think uh, that it's, uh, there are not uh, many comparable um, uh, numbers. And if you take Germany, we all, all um, ways make part of the top five um, registered uh, re registration among all convertibles in the different markets. <coughs> So really great numbers, even in the run out here, 14 still on position number six um, in, uh, with, the, with the example Germany. And uh, so this was exactly what the team tried uh, now to invent and to develop again a car which has this cult. Um, and um, I think they accomplished this mission uh, because um, it's again the only really full-fledged <coughs> convertible in this micro-segment. Um, it's, we think, a little bit love at first sight because we love the design. Um, I will come back to the design a little later. Um, and very important for SMART is always, we call it even a SMART principle, is always a combination of fun and functionality. Um, and I have the impression whenever I take the convertible and I have the pleasure to drive it already um, during the last month all the time, more or less, um, I have the, the impression that all the USPs of SMART you feel in the convertible even better than in the basis car. And I am very curious to hear your feedback this evening when I will participate, of course, during the dinner to chat with you about that. I have the impression, in particular, the turning circle, when you open the roof and you make this turning circle, which is so funny on one hand side, so I see more and more people just doing the turning circle in cities, uh, without uh, reason, just because to show it's possible, because nobody will, will believe it's possible. But with the cabriolet, when the roof is open, it's even, you, you really can breathe the city in, in, within, the, in within the car. Um, or 
contract takes a treaty on safety cell, you know, a very important safety feature. Uh, by the way, it's now 15% more rigid. Also here, the convertible goes beyond the, um, the base car uh, due to, of course, to enhance even the safety for the car. On the other hand, it's um, a wonderful design um, element of our car. It's a very emotional, it's always this fun and functionality what the teams try to develop. Not to speak about the double clutch, I think I got the reaction from more or less all of you that it's a, a large improvement with having this new transmission on smart. I think I, I may say it really makes a big, big difference. And also this in the convertible makes, of course, increases the fun. Tridion's design, um, yes, uh, we really think it's a real, 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 very, very emotional smart. Um, you see that um, we have here uh, this uh, dynamically uh, tapered B pillar, uh, which gives really the car even more uh, um, uh, emotion uh, and dynamic. Um, and uh, also the proportions are a little bit different, in particular when it's open, and we just love it. Um, and um, what, is, um, what the team then thought was, all this, yeah, but a convertible, smart is always USP. It's a 2 meter 69 or 8.8 .8 feet. It's a turning circle, USP, no other car is able to do. A convertible also needs something which is unique for smart. And the team said it has to be on top, the without top. How do we develop now this topless uh, driving? And you felt it today. Uh, it's, uh, you are under the sun in only 12 seconds. And you can open and close it at every speech, speed. And that's great. There is no other convertible, I think, was able to do so. Um, and uh, so you have three cars in one, and that's now, I think, it, however new for in, in comparison to the predecessor, you have a full-fledged normal cube when it's closed with a heated rear window, very important. You can um, uh, open it, um, and um, you have a large sliding canvas roof, or you can really have this full-fledged cabriolet fully open, very emotional, and with this, this feeling of total freedom, what is very important to our customers. I told you before, these kind of customers will love the city, they love this feeling, I'm not mainstream, I want to be free, I want to feel free of this freedom to bring it into the car. That's, I think, very important, and that's why um, I can only uh, thank the team for having this great idea around the roof, because this really makes, again, the difference. Freedom. Freedom is also about colors. Our customers love individualization, customization. You know that some of you participated when we launched the Ford Jeremy. Do you remember the smart with the wings? I'm still driving. That's certainly the top of individualization. I can tell you when I drive with this car to, uh, to Stuttgart, there's always it's a little bit polarizing. polarizing. <coughs> the one, the, the one who will say, "Oh, great!" In particular, women, kids, my friends, the truck drivers, looking at me like that, and there are others saying, uh, "She's crazy." Both is true, uh, probably. Um, but it's just fun, and it starts with the colors. And we have here with the two uh, colors of the roof, we have now um, uh, hundred combinations different combination from, in theory, from the, from the, from the plant. And this, uh, it goes beyond it via the Bravo's tailor-made program, you know, where you can really order uh, your special, unique car. And um, you know that uh, we have many customers and Smart is very much premium. Also, this is um, um, something we really love looking at the numbers of our new cars last year. The, the percentage, the take rate of even very expensive options is really high. And that's, uh, I think, also true for Brabus. You know, you can buy Brabus uh, smart really at the price of 30,000 euro and, and more. And there are quite a number of customers who choose for such a really exclusive and very much premium smart. 
and I think I have the impression that uh, the, in particular, the, uh, the convertible really needs this uh, smart Bravo's uh, version also. We are waiting for that. Um, and uh, so it's our smart convertible is the most exclusive way to <coughs> drive a smart. But on the other hand, it's the most affordable convertible in the whole market. Um, and this is something where we always attract what we also uh, fight for to, um, uh, to, to guarantee also for the future to have uh, this uh, most inexpensive uh, convertible, full con full fledged convertible on the market. And with all this, we think, yes, there will be even more talent for smart in this year 2016 because, as I said before, the number 73% in Europe grows was still without the convertible. So this will come on top. You know probably that we will come uh, in summer with the Bravos version. Um, so with the an even little bit more power. So not only the tailor-made, the design package, but also really the horsepower on top. Um, then it's uh, flying through the cities probably. Um, and um, so with this, um, Coming back to here to Valencia, you know, I started this week. We discussed the weather in Detroit, <laughs> all of you uh, who were there. I started this week on Monday morning at 5.30 in the morning, minus 10 degrees, jogging at the Lake of Constance. I continued uh, the next day at, uh, here in Valencia, jogging with um, a temperature of uh, 5 degrees in the morning, and in the afternoon, 18 degrees and sunshine, I can promise you, in all three moments, I would have loved to take my smart convertible. So it's really now the convertible for all conditions in a big city, for a lot of fun, and I really hope that you also enjoyed that feeling. And let me give you this little hint, when you're going back to the hotel, for, and then to the, to the hotel, to go then to the restaurant, and I can promise you, and I don't overpromise. My team found something very special at our hotel. You will love it. It's a, a real smart hotel. It's small from outside, but rich from inside. You will like it. But when you go there, you see again these very, very narrow roads. And you try to turn and to feel that. And then ask yourself, um, what? how the car is able to go through such areas with so much fun. Sorry, modestly I would like to say it's only smart what is able to do so. I wish you a lot of fun here. I'm very happy to join, of course, the whole evening to be together with you. I will circle around, uh, without turning circles, but circle around from <laughs> table to table to share with you, um, all of you, uh, the hours we are having together, the time, and I'm open to all your questions then. Uh, so I really hope that you enjoyed the time here in Valencia. Thank you again for joining us, and uh, let's have a great evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>